one. This is the Aerial Supercell Measurement System, designed by the June 1st Severe Weather Research Design Team. Consisting of Alex Gentile, John Augusta, Seth Cornier, and myself, Ethan Moriarty. The purpose of this project is to provide a tool used by researchers to study supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes. In terms of atmospheric disasters, tornadoes are incredibly unpredictable here in the United States. A lot more research needs to be done to determine when these storms will and won't occur. Supercomputer simulations are being done on tornadoes, and we need real-world data to validate these simulations. Our problem statement is design a system of devices used to gather atmospheric and locational parameters within supercell thunderstorms. The system must be safe, durable, reusable, user-friendly, and take reliable measurements. The design must be transportable, deployable, and ready for use by May of 2021. Design specifications that we are looking for include flight time of at least 20 minutes, a range of over 5 miles, a deployment time of under 60 seconds, the capability to deploy 6 times in one flight, be able to measure 9 different atmospheric and locational parameters, have a device weigh under 50 pounds, under a volume of 20 cubic feet, and cost under $1,000. We wanted our sensor package to measure these parameters, real time, latitude, longitude, altitude, temperature, pressure, humidity, acceleration, and speed. So we designed a custom PCB with little sensors in order to measure these parameters. We had three original delivery methods, a quadcopter, a fixed wing aircraft, and a rocket. We wanted to do the quadcopter, but due to budgetary restrictions, we would not be able to purchase the rest of our sensor package materials. So we decided to do, go with the fixed wing aircraft. Then our ground control consisted of a RC transmitter, a switch controller for deployment of sensor packages, and a receiver to gather live data from that sensor packages. Our sensor package consisted of multiple key components, one of which is a microcontroller that does all of the calculations. The actual sensing is done by a big array of sensors, including an atmospheric sensor, an accelerometer and INU, a GPS module, and a LoRa transceiver, which will be transmitting the data live back to our receiver. All of this is connected to a mounting plate surrounded by foam for protection and a parachute streamer to carry the probe along the wind path. The aircraft utilized a hefty five foot wingspan made of completely water resistant foam board. The two 1180 kV motors powered by a 3200 milliamp battery was more than up to the task of the flight. We utilized four channel flight control and implemented a deployment mechanism that actuated six separate individual servos that were controlled by an independent Arduino with a LoRa transceiver. The LoRa receiver gets live data from the sensor packages and streams that to a laptop. Our switch box, also known as the bug box, using six switches to send signals over radio to deploy our sensor packages. And a Spectrum RC radio is used for flight controls. Throughout our entire build process, we did a lot of testing of the individual systems separately before integrating them. There was a lot of design iteration that went into this design before final implementation. For our first flight test, it didn't go as quite as planned. We didn't have enough room for the takeoff, and basically we weren't able to recover the flight before hitting the trees. Yo, I think I got that on video. I think I got Did you? I think so. How do we get it down? Uh, uh, we get something to throw. The one good thing about having to build a plane twice is the second time over, you really know what you're doing. Our first successful flight, instead of doing a ground takeoff, I did a running start holding the aircraft while Ethan turned the motors on, and it couldn't have gone better. After the first successful test flight, it was time to validate the deployment aspect of our design. On a windy Wednesday morning, we took to the skies once again to successfully drop our sensor package. Three, two, one. Over the course of two semesters, the June 1st design team was able to design, build, crash, build again, and successfully validate this proof of concept prototype of the aerial supercell measurement system.
This proof of concept of the ASMS is a perfect segue into building a quadcopter in the future to hopefully deploy our sensors again from a more stable flight system. We also look to make improvements upon our sensor packages and make single PCB units. Thank you for watching our short informational video about our aerial supercell measurement system.